Today, everyone, welcome to the chapter 10 of HCI 1, where we will discuss the evaluation techniques in system development. So, first class, the purpose of evaluation in human computer interaction is to assess and improve the usability, effectiveness, and the user experience of interactive systems and interpreters. So, evaluation plays a crucial role in the design and development process by providing insights into how well a system meets the user needs, identifies usability issues, and informs iterative improvements. Here are the key purposes of evaluation in HSPI. So first is the um, assess usability. When it comes to assess usability, we need to identify the strengths and weaknesses in the usability of an interactive system, or what we call the SWOT analysis, wherein we need to identify the strengths the weaknesses, the opportunity, and the threats of, of our systems. After that class, we have to evaluate how easy and efficient it is for users to accomplish tasks and goals within the system. We have to measure factors such as the learnability, efficiency, memorability, error prevention, and the satisfaction of the users. Second is the informed design decisions. In this part, we have to provide actionable, um, actionable feedback to designers and developers to improve the design of interfaces and interaction. We have to validate, 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 validate also the design choices and determine if design guidelines and principles are being effectively applied. Third is the optimized user experience. Since again, our main goal is to provide a user-friendly application or system for our target users. Though, then we have to enhance the overall user experience by addressing usability issues and refining interaction based on user feedback. We have to ask the client's feedback, we have to ask the user's feedback in order for us to know what are the things or the opportunities that we have to change or upgrade in the near future. And also, we have to ensure that the system are, um, is intuitive, engaging, and enjoyable to use. Aside from that class, we also have to validate, validate requirements. In validating the requirements, we have to ensure that the design and functionality of the system align with user needs, goals, and expectations. So validate the system meets specific usability requirements and design objectives. So for the HCI class, it serves as a critical tool for understanding user interactions, um, validating design decisions, and continuously improving the quality of interactive systems by incorporating evaluation processes into the design workflow. Designers can create more usable, effective, and user-centered interfaces that meet the needs and expectations of diverse user populations. And also, we have to base design decisions on empirical data and user feedback rather than assumptions or subjective opinion. We have to be objective and check their opinions and check their suggestions. So use evaluation results to justify design choices and demonstrate the effectiveness of design solutions. We also have to evaluate the accessibility of the system to ensure the usability of users and, uh, with diverse abilities and disabilities. We have to cater all target users despite of their abilities and despite of their disabilities. And lastly, is we have to identify the barriers to accessibility and implement design improvements to enhance the inclusivity of our system. So this will be, um, that will be all for the chapter nine of the user computer interaction. Thank you class and goodbye. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.